Hi, I'm Dr. Jonathan Chuet, Beverly Hills Dental Specialist, and I make people happier one smile at a time. Today we're going to be covering a really important subject, something that a lot of patients want to know the answer to, and that's how to be successful with orthodontic aligners. So let's get into it. Number one, choose an experienced orthodontist. A lot of dentists provide orthodontic treatment in their office using Invisalign aligners. Now Invisalign is a product that we use, but an orthodontist really has the experience and the know-how to make the teeth move the way they're supposed to in a speedy way and a way that's really simple for you to do. Orthodontists also have a lot more experience in straightening teeth in general, so if there's a case that really doesn't work with aligners, then the orthodontist would know more than a dentist how to get that to straight in case that braces might be a better option. Look at it this way. A general dentist does cleanings, fillings, cavities, deep canals, crowns, veneers, extractions. That's a lot of stuff to keep track of, but an orthodontist specializes in one thing and one thing only, and that's making sure your teeth are as straight as possible and that your bite really fits the way it's supposed to. So when it comes to straightening your teeth, a specialist is going to be the person who's going to be able to get you that result that you're looking for, but in the amount of time that you'd be willing to spend. So when you come to see me at my office, you know that I'm going to make you feel better than you've ever felt because I know exactly what you and your smile need. All right, tip number two to be successful with your aligners. Compliance is key. Follow your orthodontist instructions, including wear your aligners 22 hours every single day and for the proper amount of prescribed time. Some patients will wear them for seven days, some patients will wear them for 14 days. Depends on your doctor, and guess what? Your doctor knows best. So some patients try to play around with this, and let me tell you, we know when you're doing this. So I'll speak for every orthodontist everywhere and just say, wear your liners the way you're supposed to. Don't you wanna have a smile that fills you with confidence? Trust in this process, and you will love your smile for the rest of your life. All right, tip number three, good oral hygiene. Keep your teeth and aligners clean by brushing and flossing after every meal and snack. So this means that brushing your teeth is now a three times a day thing. So every time you take the aligners off, you wanna brush before you put them in. Having clean teeth allows your teeth to move more quickly. And when you actually get a cavity during your treatment, your treatment may have to be paused until that cavity is filled. So that could delay your total treatment. It's actually easier to clean when you have orthodontic aligners versus braces, but it's more important to clean. So let me give you guys a little mini dentistry lesson. Right, saliva, which is naturally occurring in our mouth, washes away anything that's sitting on our teeth and actually helps prevent cavernous. There's a few ways that that works. Because it's a fluid, it washes away the, the food and it also has enzymes in it that breaks down food and bacteria. And it also acts like a buffer against the acidic nature of things in our mouth. So it helps to neutralize plaque. So when we wear aligners that's covering our teeth, it doesn't allow our saliva to wash over and clean our teeth naturally. And that saliva is really important in cavity prevention. So if we're not brushing well and we're wearing our liners over our teeth, they're actually blocked and away from the saliva. You can imagine the cavities are gonna form much more quickly. That's why it's even more important to have good oral hygiene during a liner. All right, tip number four, be prepared for a little bit of discomfort. Expect some initial discomfort or soreness when you start a new set of aligners. This should really subside after a day or two. In fact, if you're wearing your aligners enough, the pain shouldn't really last more than 24 hours or so. But don't worry, a timely dose of Tylenol will really make any orthodontic pain you might have go away. A quick note, Tylenol is the brand name of the medicine acetaminophen, which is actually a different pain blocker than what's in something like Adenol, which has ibuprofen. Ibuprofen slows down tooth movement and acetaminophen or Tylenol does not do that. All right, tip number five, Use chewies. Chewies are soft plastic tools that are provided from your orthodontist that can help seat their aligners properly. We actually at our office give these to our patients at the start of their treatment. So if your orthodontist doesn't supply this for you, come on docs, step up your game. You can always order some online. Amazon has a bunch of different shapes and sizes, so go nuts. Your orthodontic team's job is to anticipate needs and solve problems before they even begin. We offer a bunch of things like whitening pens, cleaning foam, and lip balm to make sure patients are feeling comfortable and taking care of every step of the orthodontic journey. All right, tip number six, regular checkups. You need to go to your appointments, and there's a ton of ways to do that these days. Between live virtual appointments, remote monitoring systems, and in-person appointments, you've got all the opportunities you need to make this happen. If you miss your appointment, make sure to call your dental or orthodontic office and get seen as soon as possible. All right, next tip, Communicate with your orthodontist. If you have any issues, discomfort, or any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact your orthodontist. You can get guidance, and you may even need to come in for an adjustment. 
If something detaches from your teeth or if there's an issue with your liner, we want to hear about it. Most offices these days have a text message feature where you can at least leave a voicemail and have them reach back out to you. All right, guys, bonus tip. Keep track of your aligners. When you take them off, put them in their case because losing your aligners might mean waiting for a replacement aligner, which can delay your treat. Keep your old aligners, at least the last few, and make sure to store them in a place that's safe, cool, and dry. All right, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right here. And most important, if you're ready to start your orthodontic journey to the smile you've always dreamed of, send us a DM on Instagram at WLA Ortho. I'm Dr. Jonathan Shuhead, Beverly Hills Dental Specialist. Have a great day.